Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a little video showing my Disney Lesdis collection. Um, I've not got them all, I've not got the late release ones like Lion King 2, um, I think Pocahontas 2 and stuff like that came out as well, but in only in France and Japan and only in French and Japanese, I don't think there was ever an in English um, release of them. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments, let me know. Um, but yes, let's dive straight into these. I'll talk a little bit about the films, um, but not a lot. First one I've got is Cartoon Classics. Here's Donald, here's Goofy. Donald's on one side of the disc, Goofy's on the other side of the disc. It's just a compilation of some of their better cartoons. I got that one really cheap. Here's one that I got another one that's really cheap. This is a Mickey Mouse Donald Duck Cartoons Collection 1. Again, just some of the better cartoons from Donald and uh, Mickey Mouse. Some Goofy and that on there as well. Don't know if you can see him there. Here's one that I imported from America. How the best was one 1933 to 1960. Not actually watched this one. Um, I just haven't had time, um, you know, ones to watch. Not necessarily cartoon characters that you're familiar with on that one. It's uh, a bit of a mixed bag. Uh, next one I've got is another one of the uh, limited gold edition discs, same as the last one. Life with Mickey. All sorts of his early cartoons, including some of the black and white ones on there. Pretty good. Officer and a Duck, um, Donald Duck, and in this one it's a lot of his wartime cartoons, which is really nice because some of these are banned now. I think like the one where he's like Hitler and stuff like that. I don't know if it's on here. I can't remember, but I remember, you know, some stuff that would probably get banned today. So I don't know if they're out on disc, on um, DVD, Blu-ray. Another one of the limited gold collections. I haven't seen this one either. This is from Pluto with Love. Obviously, it's all about Pluto and his best um, animated shorts. We're into the films now. And I used to love this one as a kid. This is Aladdin. And this is the Gatefold edition. Hopefully that's in picture. I'm trying to get it in picture. Yeah. Yeah, Aladdin. Don't need to talk much about that because everyone's seen it. Uh, then we've got Aladdin 2. I think this is the second one. I think Jafar's the third, which we've got just here. Um, but yeah, um, mixed bag. It's alright. It's not too bad, that one. I've not seen it in many years. And as I mentioned, Return of Jafar, which I think is the third um, Aladdin film. Again, can't really remember much about that one. It's been such a long time since I watched it. One that I used to watch a lot as a kid, Pinocchio. Don't really need to tell you much about Pinocchio. I'm sure everybody's got this one, seen this one. Another one, Toy Story. Some magazine adverts in the back of here, so I can't show you the back. Because um, I tried to take them out and it's it's not working. It's got all this stuff in the back. But yeah, you know Toy Story. Everyone knows Toy Story. Um, next one. Didn't really like this one as a kid. It was mainly for girls I I thought but I've seen it since and it is quite a good film I do like it little flounder and Sebastian the crab I used to watch the um, TV show a little mermaid uh, I remember there being a TV show I used to see some of that but yeah this is a Japanese laser 
one that I can't get on with because there's not really much film. It's more of a RT project type thing, and it's Fantasia. This is a three-sided one, I think it is. I think it's three sides. Yeah, three sides. Um, yeah, my mum loves this film, but I, I'm not that bothered. I prefer, you know, a bit of narrative. Next one, Sleeping Beauty. Yep, everyone knows Sleeping Beauty. Alice in Wonderland. And it's a black diamond, so it must be worth millions. Like the VH test tapes that are worth a shit. But yeah, Alice in Wonderland, everyone knows Alice in Wonderland. Beauty and the Beast, again this one's Gatefold. Hopefully that's showing up alright on camera. Beauty and the Beast, everyone knows Beauty and the Beast. Next one, I watch this every year at Halloween, just after Halloween, just before Christmas. Really like this film, really like this film. So does my daughter. Don't think my son's seen it. Next up, we've got Oliver and Company. Really good film. Um, I got the record soundtrack of this as well. Um, but no one gives this any love, really. And it's a shame, because it is a pretty damn decent film. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Don't need to tell you anything about that one. I'm sure we've all seen it. Pocahontas. Only seen this one like once. But I'm sure most of you have seen that one anyway. 101 Dalmatians. Again, I'm sure everybody's seen that one. Went to pictures to see this one with one of my first serious girlfriends when I was about 13, 14. Um, yeah, this is Hercules. Actually a really good film. Another one that I really like, Hunchback of Notre Dame. I'm sure most of you have seen that one. One that I wore the tape out as a kid. Um, watched this one a hell of a lot as a kid. We had it taped from TV, we never actually bought it, but we taped it from TV and I used to watch this one quite a bit. I used to like this. Not my favourite from as a child, but it's still one of the good ones. Uh, another one that I think were mainly geared towards girls, and I, I only watched it very briefly, um, is Bambi. Um, I really do need to watch this one as an adult and, and see what it's all about. Another one of my absolute favourites as a child, Aristocats. Me and my sister used to get this quite a lot and watch it. Um, I'm saying get it. We got it for Easter one year. We, we had a choice between Easter eggs and Disney tapes. We always got Disney tapes because they lasted longer. But yeah, Aristocats, really good one. A little bit racist in places with the like uh, Siamese cats and stuff but it's all in good fun. This was my childhood favourite film. Loved it, loved it, loved it. It was a toss up between this and Robin Hood and I think this one just ticks it. I, I, I watched this one so much as a child. Sword in the Stone. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Another girly one, Cinderella, but I did watch this one as a child and quite enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, I think more geared towards girls. Don't need to tell you anything about that, I'm sure you've all seen that one. And as for mentioned, I got my Robin Hood here. Um, like I say, it was a toss up between this and um, Sword in the Stone for my favourite childhood um, Disney movie. But um, my actual favourite Disney movie is not available on Laserdisc, unfortunately. And it's Emperor's New Groove. Absolutely love that film. I've got them both on Blu-ray, number one and number two. But, uh, yeah. This one were a really good film as a, when I was a kid. Lion King. I'm sure this is on many people's favourites. 
Um, I don't need to get Lion King to the French one. I think it's called Royal Lion or something in France, but hey, I, I'm not sure. Um, I've got the um, next one here for you. And that is Jungle Book. Not much to be said about Jungle Book. Pretty decent film. I'm sure we've all got it, seen it. And this one I didn't see until after I'd seen the second one, which is Rescuers Down Under, which I'll show you next. Um, but it's it's pretty good. I still prefer the second one because I had that one on tape as a kid. But Rescuers are still pretty decent. But the better out of the two, I honestly think, is Rescuers Down Under. Absolutely loved this film. We used to watch this one a heck of a lot. Yeah, really good stuff. Really good stuff. Well, that's all I've got for Disney Discs, guys. Um, I'm going to be doing some more Laserdisc stuff. Um, as and when I get discs in. I've got a lot of horror and cult stuff. I'll do videos on them at some point. I'll be doing video nasties. Um, and all sorts of Laserdisc stuff, including some Laserdisc games and stuff like that. So if you like this, please subscribe. I'll be doing more videos. And there's already quite a few bits of Laserdiscs and video game stuff on my channel. Um, I'm also doing like vintage video, VCRs, vintage electronics, all that sort of good stuff. So if you're into that, subscribe, hit the bell and we'll we'll take it from there guys and hopefully i'll see you in another video see you later bye